Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lenz and you're watching Get Germanized a Medieval German Christmas Market in Dortmund. Just look at how beautiful this is. Oh my god. Oh, I'm bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get so, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna do a live commentary on this video. So it's not scripted, it's not anything. I'm just gonna tell you what happened while we both see it. And that's how it's gonna be. So, I was on my way to Dortmund on this train. My friends were supposed to come with me, also Dave and some other people. But, uh, well, it happened that they couldn't make it. And Sergio and I were already on our way to Dortmund when we heard this. And so it was just the two of us in the end. Which might have been even, well, fortunate actually. Because otherwise I would definitely not have been able to film as much as I did. Because I would have felt bad. I mean, also... Uh, in this very crowded market, it was quite crowded, it would have been difficult to to move <laughs> with like five, six, seven people. So I think this was the, the right thing for us in the end. Well, and it snowed on that day, as you can see. The snow was sadly gone later in Dortmund because I believe it was about one or two degrees Celsius and the snow melted away. Ah, so sad. It was the second time we got snow that year. Oh, look at that. There's food that we got right after we arrived in Dortmund, went out the wrong area of the main train station, of the wrong side, basically, because uh, that led us to the inner city. And, well, that way we saw the inner city a little bit, but we were meant to go out of, um, out of the other side of the train station. And inside, as you can see, there was this beautiful a Christmas tree, a beautiful Weihnachtsbaum. But eventually we got to the market as you can see here uh, at first it was a bit too bright still outside too light I guess you can say it was still beautiful but the real beauty enveloped how do you say that um, revealed itself <laughs> when it got dark um, and this I think what does this even say here M W M W L P P L W M uh, I have no idea what that means actually, <laughs> to be quite honest. But just look at this, they placed lights everywhere basically. It was definitely, once it got dark, one of the nicest uh, Christmas markets that I've ever been to. Just all these different kind of lighting arrangements. They put, well, fires everywhere and, and lanterns, as you can see, and these wooden fires, these campfires where you could sit around, it was just absolutely fantastic. Uh, I filmed this uh, one campfire here in a little bit of slow-mo for you to appreciate. <laughs> and uh, this year we thought was a booth for food, but it's actually Weltenkrieger Baden des Lichts, a band. And here you can buy some trinkets, I think, so, like all over the market actually. You could buy food and handmade stuff or even furs like you can see here i mean not everyone agrees with that obviously but you could buy it there this is like a harry potter themed store winkelgasse i'm not sure why it se uh, sells knives though because winkelgasse is this um, diagon alley from harry potter i mean the knives were pretty cool actually i was considering getting one for my kitchen but uh, i didn't <laughs> in the end and here you can buy more trinkets i think little chests they look pretty cool and what we got here, well, just a Luna et Sol di Leder Schmiede, so leather equipment, leather clothes and stuff like that. Good buy there. You can see, uh, well, I think it was more for children, like bows and swords and stuff like that. Here, once again, another fur store. I mean, I feel bad about uh, the animals being killed for fur, but... On the other hand, I'm not sure how they do it, actually. Maybe they just take it from animals that had been killed anyway, or that would have been killed anyway by hunters or something like that. Because hunting is very regulated here in Germany, so that might be the case. But the first they felt, naturally, of course, amazing. Like, it's it's a fur. And here we got some balloons that you could buy. Heißluft ballons, I wanted to say, but that's not really it. Helium ballons. And these things here, I'm not sure what that was exactly. I just think it was like just something kids could carry around or anyone really could carry around. And they sell these at different markets these days. I'm not sure what started this trend. 
And this here, I think these are all, like little lamps where you can put tea lights in. This store here was very pretty on the inside as well. And a lot of pottery articles, um, really, really beautiful stuff. So, and Sergio is there too, as you can see in the background. Uh, he's gone now, but <laughs> he was there a second ago. Promise. Oh, they sold axes as well. I didn't even see that. And this store here was really cool. The guy was really friendly, even uh, didn't mind me filming him, as you can see. And uh, he, well, sold Sergio one of those mugs. Uh, that one in specific that you can see there. Very beautiful. This was cute. I thought, Auftrag wird bearbeitet, bitte warten. Basically says, order being processed. <laughs> and he put that little sign up while he was packaging his his mug. That was, that was quite cute, I thought. Again, more beautiful stores. Uh, this one sold leather equipment as well. A lot of leather and fur. I guess it was a medieval market and that's what, well, they, they often wore back in medieval times. Same as this uh, little smith here. A blacksmith, I guess. Very cool. You see him work on whatever this is. Could just be an, a wristband, an accessory of sorts. It's very nice. Oh, these I loved as well, like lights within these uh, woven branches, I guess. Really nice. And here, Duft Manufaktur is basically uh, essential oils that you could buy there. All different kinds. Pretty cool. This store I especially liked as well. A lot of pottery goods inside again. I didn't really buy much there because, of course, it is quite pricey. Uh, like, all over the market. So I just bought food mostly and a, actually a bottle of honey wine later on but yeah just look at that that's just gorgeous again more pottery goods i thought the lighting looked really nice in this shot so well i, I shot it again just the background here with all the lights on the on the little lake just awesome the mood they create with all this nice lighting i think that uh, can be contributed or attributed how do you say that to my video looking as nice as it does at the moment <laughs> i mean the new camera as well of course but the lighting is just perfect everywhere or really nice at least just look at that and this uh, i felt a bit awkward filming the kids there but it just looked so cool um <laughs> i'm not a pervert i swear and, well, this little uh, booth here uh, sold crystals, among other things, I believe. Uh, minerals. Very nice. Also, this one here sold uh, horns. Or oh, not horns, what are they called? Well, yeah, horns, I suppose. Uh, where you can put mead, honey wine in, or anything, really, beer, if you wanted to. And other stuff they sold, obviously, jewelry. And this stand here sold sausages. These ones on the right there, Sergio bought one of those. It costs about five euros fifty for one sausage. I thought that was quite pricey, um, but Sergio nibbled quite a while on that, so I guess it was worth it. He liked it. He didn't complain at least. Feuer und Erde. I just thought that looked cool. It was fire and earth, and another dragon. I mean, the shot uh, actually is the same shot. As from the beginning of the video, I just really like this one, so I wanted to put in the whole thing. Um, well, at least once in this video. This was uh, the most beautiful area, I thought, where they sold the honey wine because it was just uh, super nice. And look at the little dude here, future photographer. So cool. Ah, uh, yeah, like I said, they just put fairy lights in between and just looked absolutely fantastic on, on hay and straw and stuff like that. Almost it's straw, I think. And this dragon, and there's dragon stuff everywhere on this medieval market. It's just absolutely fantastic. Just look at that. And the, the wine is very good as well, by the way. Mm. Yeah, this, like, again, like I said, a lot of dragon themed stuff like this skull they carry around from market to market actually i've seen them before not these two dudes necessarily they were really nice as well allowing me to film and stuff like that but just the detail of the decoration every time i see them it's so nice and i think this market uh, on this market they displayed it the most beautiful
another dragon that they put up. I mean, how much effort did they put into this? It's just insane. It looks really cool. And this was a really nice wooden bench. Again, dragon themed and a little girl with her dragon, basically. So it just looked very cool. And more dragons, of course, all around the lake. They put up these, uh, these uh, well, wooden carvings of dragons and just other things it looked absolutely gorgeous are this dragon they basically have every time on this MPS Mittelalterlich Fantasie Spektakulum that's actually what this market is and it's well yeah it's bits fire it's really cool they have it every time I think or most of the time every time I went to one of the markets they did have that dragon Another armory shop, really nice, looked really cool. I mean, it's mostly, I think, LARP equipment, so not real weapons, but still. Still very cool. Uh, the leather armor here, I thought, looked very nice as well. I'm no expert, but I liked it. Oh yeah, that was the entrance to a separate part of the market. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that's actually where like the party tents were and stuff like that. We went into one, you will see it in a minute as well. But I, th I just thought this entrance way looked gorgeous, like, damn. I mean, the market cost, like, what was it, an entrance fee of, like, 7 euros only? Uh, I mean, there there was stuff for free that you, you could see, and even bands and performances and stuff like that. For just 7 bucks, I thought that was really good. And uh, this little carousel, <laughs> it was so funny. This dude cranking, cranking the, the, the whatever it's called, uh, and the kids going around and around and around. And here elfen ha and Odin's purple, Odin's boogers and elven hair. Basically popcorn and cotton candy. Really nice. It doesn't always, it's, it's not always called that in German by the way. elfen ha and Odin's purple. <laughs> Would be funny though if it was. And here we are in the, uh, well inside of one of the party tents or the Christmas tent they called it actually. It was so cozy and this dude is the best. <laughs> <laughs> when he noticed that I was panning towards him, he was like, yep, okay, I see you. <laughs> he didn't seem to mind though, so that was nice. And yeah, just uh, inside this air-conditioned tent, just super nice and warm, we, with sofas everywhere. Uh, even a band played, you will see them in a minute. Um, it's just really nice. And here, little Irish pub within that tent, the Irish Rover. We ordered a Guinness, Sergio and I. Uh, it was just like so detailed everything in this market on on this uh, market it was fantastic and here these rockers there that <laughs> I thought um, that was it was quite nice to see uh, how do you say that like-minded people they seem to like the same music as uh, Sergio and I so very nice oh yeah and here the band uh, at first I didn't know who they were and what they did like I didn't include their music because uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed or not but you can check them out here at cobblestones.de uh, if you're interested um, was quite interesting their music I have never heard something like that before so definitely well definitely give it a listen I thought it was cute like the outfits look really cool and uh, like the, the little performance that they did here there you can see it just dum -dum 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 -dum. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, more fire, like the, the fireplaces were like little beacons of uh, of warmth, little oasis, a, a little oasis. How do you say, what is the plural of oasis? Hmm, oases? <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, it's just gorgeous. This whole, like you can walk around and every five meters you'll find something worth filming. I mean, that's what I did basically. Hope you don't mind. I wanted to show as much as possible. That's why this video is, uh, I think, 17 minutes long or something like that. But um, yeah, it was just too good to not include. Even if it's just shots of like lanterns and candles or this skull, for example, this little pl the display they put up here in this pirate area of the market. Booty Island. I enjoy that. Double meaning. And here this little... Uh, what do you call a bone array? <laughs> really cool too. <clears throat> and uh, well, the octopus on, on the left there was pretty funny as well, I thought. And here, actual pirates or... Well, not sure, just... I guess, yeah, pirates. 
Uh, I wasn't sure at first, but they, they look pretty run down in the face and stuff. <laughs> pretty histori historically accurate, I would say. And in a second, uh, you will see the octopus again as well. Ooh. I just thought the shot looked really cool, really creepy. Still need to practice zooming smoothly with this wheel. This is new camera, of course. And this night, you look really cool. Um, his wife was really nice too and didn't mind me filming him as well. So, And <laughs> the cow just thought it looked cute. So that's why I included that one. Uh, it's an original looking cow, of course. For all those people from the city, it's always that color. Yep, yep. And they even had a playground there. How cool is that? Moving on to the fire show or parts of it. We didn't see it all because we had limited time only. But I wanted to include a little bit for you to enjoy. Nevertheless, because it was pretty cool. Or should I say hot? <laughs> One of the girls actually uh, lost one of those wheels at some point, I think when they were hula hooping with them. I felt a little bit bad and that's why I also didn't include that part. But why am I even talking about it? <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's really impressive, like not burning yourself with that. What do they do if they burn themselves? They just, I guess they just soldier through because of all that adrenaline that probably rushes through them at this uh, point. Piratengesindel means like pirate scum, basically. So they, they point out where we can find the pirate scum. And again, this beautiful display here of all the honey wine. Wow, <laughs> I just love it. Oh, and this was Hugo, the little sheep. I, I just named him Hugo just now. Um, he wanted to eat my camera. He was very friendly, but he thought you could eat my lens. So <laughs> thanks, Hugo, for not eating it in the end. A sauerkraut pfanne is like a sauerkraut pan and just thought that was funny. Sergio spotted it actually and I wanted to show you, well, the booth. And this is just the dragon again from the other perspective, uh, from the other side. Just thought it would look cool with all the honey wine in the background there. And here is, of course, the MPS logo, the Jubiläums Tour. It's actually uh, the anniversary, I believe, 25 years of the Mittelalterlich Fantasie Spektaklum. Check them out and uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like. It's easy to do. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And let me know what would you want to do at a German Christmas market. Is there something that you've dreamed of doing there? Just what you want to experience, which one you want to see in which city. Do you like this one? What do you do like best about it? Let me know. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.